get all kinds of calls this time of year uh, for people who think they need a new queen. Uh, they don't uh, uh, see the queen right off when they get in a calling, and so they think there's something wrong. Oh no, we'll get on the phone quick and order up a new queen. Make sure you got a queen with it. Most of the time, I would say that there's not a problem. The queen bee's in there. We're just not picking up on the uh, uh, cues that indicates that a colony is queen right. So let's go down the list of some of those things, how to find the queen bee. Let's say we were going to get in a, a colony and we were going to see the queen bee for sure. We didn't want to see signs of her. We didn't want to see eggs. We weren't interested in larvae. Uh, we didn't care about cap over brood. I want to see the queen. I've got to find that queen or uh, I, I'm just not going to be satisfied that she's in there and doing her job. So where would we find her? We've got our boxes set up. Uh, they call this box on the bottom the brood chamber, right? So that's where the queen is usually to be found, especially this time of year. We don't have honey supers on yet this time of year, so we know she's probably going to be in the bottom box. But which frame is she going to be in uh, on in the bottom box? So typically we'll find on the sides of the box there will be honey. The next frame in will be some honey and pollen. Uh, from either side. The next frame in, probably about the same, honey and pollen. Then the frames in the middle where, will be where we're going to find larva, eggs, darker comb, and the queen. The queen's going to uh, be on a frame, most typically, that has open cells. You have a frame of uh, sealed over brood that's, that's Got a little honey in the corners maybe, but it's sidebar to sidebar brood. Will we likely find the queen on there? She probably won't be on there. If she is on there, she's probably on her way, uh, just crossing, just passing through to the next frame. So we'll want to find a frame that has some emerging brood. If there's a, a ring of sealed over brood on the frame, and then the middle of the frame is where some Bees have just transitioned from their pupil stage to adult stage and, emer and emerged and the house bees have come along and cleaned those cells out. Would we likely find the queen on there? Yeah, probably would be. So she's just got a newly available space for her to lay in and so she's likely to be on a frame like that. So even if we see some sealed over brood but there's empty space in the middle, there's a good chance she would be on there. If we find a frame with eggs, in part of the uh, frame and just empty cells, she could be on that frame. So the, uh, the frame, where it's at in the hive and the, the contents of that frame will be an indicator of whether that's a good place to hunt for the queen or not. Uh, the behavior of the bees, uh, let's, uh, let's try the next slide and probably, uh, uh, probably got some of these things listed up here. Yeah. Okay, um, we'll come back to, to the behavior of the bees. Right, um, first, right now, we're queen right. If, if the colony has a queen and everything's going normal, we'll, we call it queen right. right? If you get into a, a colony and the bees are upset, more upset than they usually are, more upset than the last time you got into a colony, um, that's sometimes an indicator that something's not right with the queen. Um, I have right now a queen bank. We take uh, queens in all the little cages like you saw and put them all in there at the same time, put a bunch of nurse bees in there and they'll tend to all those queens. The queens are in their own separate cage so they won't fight, right? But uh, you would say a colony like that is queen right, so they should be calm, they should be happy. They've got a lot of queens in there. Wouldn't they just be the nicest bees you can imagine? That, I don't even want to look sideways at that box or they'll come out and get you. So if they know something's wrong, those queens have been in that box for over a week now and there's something wrong, those queens aren't doing what they're supposed, the queens are supposed to do, so they're really mad about it. So sometimes we can tell uh, if uh, the queen's in there just by the temperament of the colony, not always. It's usually a good indicator on that. Alright, eggs and larvae. Need to get a magnifying glass uh, out and look for queen, but do you really need to see eggs? Eggs is helpful on, on some occasions. We, we want to know if there's eggs. Um, but for most purposes, you don't really have to, have to see the eggs. 
if your eyesight, or for whatever reason, the light may be in the eyes in the evening and, and you can't get the light in, the, in there to see what's going on, or whatever reason you're not able to see eggs, you can probably still see larva that's three, four days old. It'll be C-shaped, it'll be that white grub, the little worm that's in the bottom of the cell. They're big enough generally to see. Uh, and if you see a lot of those, um, and you see them go from progressively larger uh, in the center, smaller towards the outside of the frame, then you can probably assume that we've got all ages of larvae in there down to eggs. So we didn't see any eggs, but from the larva we could take a good guess that there is eggs in there. Um, that's going to be important later on. Let's say if you uh, want to know if my, my hive swarmed or not. Uh, I saw queen cells in there and I don't know, did she take off yet or not? Well, let's look for eggs. If there's no eggs in there, that means she shut down laying eggs at least four days ago. Chances are she's already swarmed. She's already left the box with half of these. So sometimes we need to we need to be able to find eggs. It's uh, necessary to do. If we're going to graft some queens, let's say we want to raise some queen bees, we definitely need to be able to see eggs. Uh, we, we need to see day old larva is what specifically we need to do if we're going to raise queen bees. But day old larva, less than 12 hour old the larva, can be smaller than the egg it came out of. And there's no puddle of royal jelly there yet. So that'll be even harder to see sometimes if there's a, a very young, newly hatched larva. So, there's a number of reasons why we need to, uh, to be good beekeepers, to correctly diagnose, uh, troubleshoot what's going on in the hive. We're going to need to be able to see eggs. Uh, okay, where should I expect to see eggs? Should we go over that? We saw a number of examples there uh, of the frames in the middle. Uh, occasionally you'll see eggs in some odd spot. You'll be up at a honey super and there'll be a little patch of, of drone comb or something and you'll see eggs in it. You'll wonder what's happening. So, uh, but typically, most often, you're going to see uh, eggs, of course, in the brood chamber. Uh, we'll know the queen's been there at least a few days ago. All right, let's, uh, let's see what else is next. Okay, queen cups, okay, we had a question, you had a question for me about what queen cups look like or queen cells look like. So we need to distinguish between queen cups and queen cells. So if somebody were to call up and ask me uh, for a queen cup, uh, I would think they wanted something entirely different. I would naturally assume that they're going to raise some of their own queen bees and they want some of the little plastic cups uh, to graft easy. Uh, what they might have meant was I, need, I want to try a queen cell because I want to have a, a queen, a virgin queen to make with my local drone. Right? So we need to know the difference. Let's get it correctly. Uh, this is a queen cup, you can see. They've started to draw out the cell wall. So that's probably got an egg in it, and it's probably got just a little bit of royal jelly in it. That's a full-on queen cell that's been sealed over. It's vertical. You see how the other cells are horizontal, and they're facing out even 15 degrees upward. And the queen cells, they're turned down, so they're, they're, uh, they're vertical. So we have horizontal worker and drone cells. Sometimes when the bees make drone cells, Along the bottom bar, they'll be distorted and they'll be different angles. Sometimes they're hanging down mostly uh, halfway between horizontal and vertical. So it can be confusing sometimes. But the queen cell will be going up and down instead of out. It's kind of got uh, craters on it. Looks like a peanut shell. And it's about the same size too. You know, queen cells are an inch and a half long or something like that. Maybe not quite. Uh, and so if you see those, you'll know that something is going on in the colony. Either they're preparing to swarm, or they're superseding uh, one of those two. They may, uh, they may not be getting ready to take off, they may be just replacing an old queen that's starting to fail. Uh, or a young queen that's, got, uh, that's sick, or that's got uh, pesticides, uh, poison, something. 